Girl, it's your birthday. Birthday in here. In here tonight. Tonight. Girl, it's your birthday. Birthday in here. In here tonight. Tonight. Get it. Hey guys, it's your girl Jessica Danielle, and I'm back. <laughs> and I'm coming back to you with another chit chat video. I made a couple of chit chat videos a couple of months ago on my old YouTube channel. So you can check those out. I'll link them in the description box. But now I have a new channel, a new blog, um, a new brand, a new business, um, all centered around women's empowerment. I'm just so big on empowering women and just kind of um, challenging what society says that a woman is supposed to be and how we're, how we're supposed to act and how we're supposed to look. So look out for my new blog launching and all um, new YouTube channel, all that stuff launching on Friday. March 11th. So this chit chat video is going to be about being content and single, which is hard for a lot of people. I'm going to be honest. It was hard for me for a long time to be content and not being in a relationship. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So if you don't know me, um, I'm 23 years old. I've been single for about almost two years. <laughs> I haven't always been content in being single. I um, went through a period of when I first broke up with my last boyfriend that I wanted to be in a relationship again and actually not right after being in that relationship but I kind of didn't want to be in a relationship ever because of what happened um, you can watch my previous video about my past relationship to understand what I'm talking about but after that kind of went away I did you know want to be in a relationship just because you know I'm human you know uh, as a human desire to um, be in a relationship, desire to be loved. So that was on my mind and I would see people on Instagram and I would be like, oh my gosh, like I want that and things like that. But right now, almost two years into being single, I'm totally content in being this way and not having a boyfriend and stuff. Um, and I can only thank God for that because he's led me through this journey. Um, but I just want to talk about some pros to being single and why you should be content in your single season. So first of all, I'm going to start off by saying that I'm a Christian. So if you don't believe in God, this video can still be for you. But um, this is more oriented to you know people who do have a relationship with God. So one, when you are single, you have more time to serve God at your greatest capacity without distractions. You don't have kids. You don't have a boyfriend. You don't have... A husband vying for your attention and you have to split you know you have to split your time between all these different you know people places things um but when you're single you um can use your time the way you want to because you don't have all those distractions and things so you can get involved in ministry you can read your bible you can do a devotional you can take classes you can just Grow your relationship with God without distractions. And I feel like it's easier. And God can use you more when you're single. You don't have distractions. You don't have... Um, I feel like you're more willing to take risks and stuff when you are single. Because, you know, it's just you. So, that's the main thing. I think that's the most important thing that you can take away from being single. Is you, God can use you at your greatest capacity when you are single. And that's what's happening with I'm really getting involved in ministries at my church and leadership, and I'm just so happy right now at this point in my life. I'm just growing with God, and it's just amazing. Um, number two, you get to just focus on yourself. You, learn, you, you get to learn yourself. You get to figure out what exactly you want in your next, in the next thing, which, you know, you want to be your husband or whatever. Um just really get to sit back and kind of think about you know what you were doing wrong in your past relationships and how you can do that better in the next relationship that you do get into um I know I did a lot of pondering and thinking about um how I can be better and be a, a wife um and be be submissive to my husband and all that stuff so you just learn yourself and you, you can you know honestly be selfish like this is a time for yourself you can do whatever you want to um and 
it's great learning about yourself. Like I learn something new about myself every day, and I feel like um, in order to love yourself, you have to know yourself. So, you know, being single, being single at the time that you can actually do that, um, which is great. The third thing is um, you don't really have, you can't, what am I trying to say? Um, you don't have the opportunity to fall into sexual temptation um, if you're waiting for marriage or you're, you know, celibate and waiting for your husband. Um, you don't really have those uh, sexual temptations and desires because you're not with somebody. Now you might see a guy that's on Instagram and might be like, hold up, who is he? But he's not right there right now and you won't really have that, you know, back and forth thing of, you know, should I do this, should I not do this? I know this is wrong, but my body's saying do this, do this. So you don't have that going on um, when you're single. Um, sing being single is not a curse. I know you might feel lonely, and I'm recording this, this video around Valentine's Day. So... You know, I felt it a little bit around this time of the year. You see couples and you're like, oh, man, this is a little depressing. But when you have a relationship with God, you realize that God is enough. And he loves you more than any man can, man or woman ever could. So that's what I always think about. God is enough. His love is enough. And um, that's, that's kind of where I stand at. Um. I feel like we as women, we really want to be loved and we sometimes um, settle for less because we want to be loved, but you don't have to settle for less because you know what, if you're in a relationship with God and you've prayed, about, prayed and talked to God about what you want and he knows the desires of your heart, he's going to send that to you. He's not going to set you up with somebody that you just totally don't want to be with. It's going to be somebody that's perfect, a perfect match for you. Um, it might not be everything that's on your checklist, but it's going to be somebody that is made for you and that he has ordained for you. Um, and I think I'm going to make a video about celibacy and all that stuff like that. Because um, I know there's a lot of you know young women and men that are going through this journey. Um. I would suggest uh, reading this book. So I'm taking a class at my church. It's called Sex, Dating, and Relationships, and it's for singles. And this is the book. So the book is called Sex, Dating, and Relationships, and it's by Gerald Highstand and Jay Thomas. And this is an awesome book. Like, it really breaks down like the importance of waiting until you're married and um, sex, like the the correlation between sex and the gospel it's just deep it makes you think about stuff in a totally different way so if you're on the journey of you know waiting till marriage or you've become a born-again virgin or whatever you want to call it um this is a great book to get um i would also suggest getting um, megan good and devon franklin's book the weight i don't have it yet but i definitely want to read that because I've been watching their interviews lately, and they're just so good about explaining why you should wait until marriage, and I think that's, you know, awesome. Um, is there anything I want to talk about? Anything else I want to talk about? So, there is a scripture that I wanted to read from um, 1 Corinthians 7, verse 9. So... This is um, a verse that um, Paul is talking about um, marriage and all that stuff. So, so this is 1 Corinthians 7 verse 9. It says, but if they cannot exercise self-control, they should marry. For it is better to marry than to burn with passion. So this means to me that if you have a desire to be married, you have a desire to, you know, have sex with your husband, your spouse, then you should marry instead of burning with that passion of, you know, your desires. 
So I definitely agree with Paul. Now, Paul, he was single his whole life and celibate his whole life. But I feel like most people have a desire to be married and have kids and start a family and all that. So um, I would definitely suggest reading um, First Corinthians. It's definitely a good um, chapter about sex and marriage and all that good stuff. Um, so I think my next video is going to be about the importance of tithing because I feel like in the church we don't talk about it enough and people don't really understand the importance of it and the direct correlation that has with your faith and the blessings and abundance you'll see in your life if you do tithe. So I'm going to do a video on tithing and comment below on other videos that you want to see me do. Um, I'll be more than happy to do that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you and subscribe to my new channel redefine woman and uh again the website launches on friday march 11th